How y'all doing, everybody? This is Lazy Days Ahead with Jesse. And Lisa. We're coming back to you with another mail call. Can you believe it? More mail? They just keep sending it in, folks. I can't stop them. It just, we, it's on a roll. My mail, my, my post office, they done sent me a letter saying if I get any more mail, they got to double charge me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Anyway, so let's start off with the first thing we got. Now, you guys know we put out a video here at Christmas time, or right after Christmas, here a couple of weeks ago, with all the Christmas cards we got. And the day we put the video out, we went to the post office. And I'd already checked three or four times before, no cards. And the day I put the video out, what did we get? A Christmas card. A Christmas card. <laughs> from un, no, none other than the, if it wasn't for the last minute, I wouldn't get nothing done. Jenny from Good Times Homestead. <laughs> There's her sticker. Yep. If it wasn't for the last minute, she wouldn't get nothing done. Folks. It's okay. It's a nice that's thing. okay. Thank you, Jen. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I normally don't want to read these letters because they're kind of personal, but I, I got to read what she, she's a hoot. No, in fact, I'll let Lisa read it. Because it's more of a voice from a female. The whole so, thing? The whole thing. Read the whole thing. you got to listen to this girl. She's a hoot. Jen is awesome. Well, I had to send you a Santa Claus card. Hence, the Santa Claus. I wonder why. You guys truly are amazing. Thank you so much for all you do from, from moderating to sending out amazing jams and jellies. Not to mention the vanilla. I will forever have the honor of getting the first bottle and I'm making it last. Well, I was until I started putting putting it in my coffee. Why doesn't this pen have spell check? Thanks for the fun, the love, and support. Jesse it says, love, Jen, and Steve? Steve. I guess? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Jen and Steve. And she says, see? Scary laughing face. <laughs> Why doesn't this pen have emojis? Yeah. Jesus is the reason for the season. <laughs> I've never seen she a pen with funny. emojis. She's but you see, even Lisa didn't know your husband's name. It, well, I uh, couldn't read it. Steve, I knew his name uh, was Steve. Uh, Steve, but... Jen and Steve, sometimes Steve. <laughs> Although, but anyway, so that's why this video, this card wasn't in my video because it came the day I put out the video. I waited, I waited. I said, let me wait a couple more days in case any stragglers come in. Sure enough, I waited about a week and then... Here comes Jen. Jennifer Anger <laughs> rhymes with danger. But that's okay, Jen. We still got we got your card. Yes. And we the got sticker. your card and the sticker. So we can't thank you enough for that. Appreciate it. It's awesome. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Uh the next item we got, folks, is from a lady you guys know as Renee from Pike Creek Farm. Uh I happened to yep. go on there Every one night. Card. I had to go on one night and, and join her live. She was doing a giveaway. And uh, a couple of days before that, I was helping her with her, uh, with her, uh, what you call with it, with her stream, with her stream yard. Lie. Yeah, helping her with stream yard. So uh, she invited to, invited me to go on her, her live, not not as a participant, but just to go and just check it out. And I did. And guess what? I won something. You did. You won. I won this stuff called chicken on a biscuit. Have you ever heard of it? Well, this lady named Pam's Pantry makes these little individualized packets. And everything's included. Everything you ever wanted for chicken on a biscuit. I guess it's that <laughs> flavor of chicken on a biscuit. So I don't hey, know, but we'll find out. We'll find day. out because I'm going to try it. Yeah. And then also, Renee sent us a nice little Christmas card. Uh, says, thank you for all your help and support. I truly appreciate both of you, Renee. Thank you very much, Renee. Renee and, over at Pike Creek Farm. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. All right. So next thing, Garden State Gardener. You know, as you, oh, by the way, look here. We're yeah. supporting Garden State Gardener right here. Mm-hmm. But as you know it, um, uh, he has giveaways all the time. And I never win. I try, I try, I try, I try. Now, my, my thing may come up. It says, Lazy Days Ahead, because she goes under Mrs. Lazy Days Ahead. But even when it's Lazy Days Ahead, guess who wins? Me, because I'm usually always the one that answers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just saying. He's moderating, and I answer. So I'm moderating, and she's answering. <laughs> so I won this T-shirt. It's from yep. M.I. Gardener, but it's a, it's a grow big or go home. That's not, turn it around. That's not an M.I. Gardener. That's Mrs. Lales Gardener. That's a, that's a, that's a lowercase L. <laughs> okay. Mrs. Lales Gardener. Mm-hmm. 
but it's a so, grow big or, or go, go home. home. <laughs> so thank you very much, Joe, Joe for that. Yes, thank you. And uh, thank you, thank you. it won't be the last time she wins, trust me, because she's on there yeah. every Sunday. Yeah. For sure. Like clockwork. Well, we have um, we have um, memberships, too. Oh, yeah. So if you're so, a member, you're automatically enrolled in the wheel, the wheel of the giving wheel, you should say. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, <coughs> and if you look at his registration video, you'll also get another entry. So we got right. two memberships, two registrations. That's four chances to win on the wheel. But anyway, thank you, Joe. Yes. Appreciate thank you a you. lot. And uh, keep up the good work you're doing over there at Garden State Gardener. All right, this next item comes from a new channel that we just recently started watching, okay? This this channel is really new to us. Now, she may have been out for a while. She's got over 2,000 subscribers, so she's been out a while. But I was just introduced to her, and by the way, I was introduced to her by none other than Nora, the Stock Explorer. She was uh, doing a live one day, and she was saying, hey, I'm going to check out this flipping crazy lady. Her name, she is flipping crazy. Her name is Lisa. <laughs> hence the name. Hence the, anyway. It's, it's a good name. <laughs> Her name is Lisa, Flippin' Crazy, and her channel is about basically uh, thrifting, finding deals. Uh, she's a reseller, so she sells a lot of things that she finds, which is was a good thing. So she's repurposing and re reselling everything that she that she can to keep it out of the landfills and stuff. But um, I well, tell she, you, she tries to find out what they're worth too. Yeah, tries to find out what they're worth, and she finds some really good some stuff that's two hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollars value. And, uh, you know, she finds it, at, like I said, Goodwill for two ninety nine. Mm -hmm. What? Who does that? Well, people like Lisa does. And there's other channels that do that, too. So, But uh, I started watching her, her show and then her, her channel, and then she had a live one day, uh, uh, one of those uh, where she was selling everything. And I happened to be interested in something. And Nora, the explorer, the person who introduced me to it, uh, she went in there and put her name in and she got the item. So the first item was, it was this little 9.99, see if I can find the deal on here. 0.999 yeah. silver. 0.999 silver and it's a Hamsa. It's a Hamsa hand. Now, I liked it because it looked like a high five. I had no idea what a Hamsa was. <laughs> I had to look it up. But anyway, it has something to do with uh, the art, the drawing and they do in the hands and stuff, uh, mainly in India. But it's beautiful, and it's and it's and it's not point nine 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 silver, so it's got a little weight to it. But I man, it's got a lot of detail on it. A too. lot of detail. So <laughs> Nora won that or, or bid on it and got it, and she gifted it to me, along with um, something that she thought was pretty interesting because I, I I had posed the interest in it, so she bid on it, and uh, it is a silver. This is the same thing. It's a Linux. It's a Linux. Linux yeah. silver. 0.9999999999. Santa. And it's a Santa key. So she bid on this and won it. And she sent it to me as a gift as well. So Nora and Lisa, thank you so much. Uh, this is awesome. This is beautiful. It is. It's, it's very pretty. It's real heavy. It's, it's got a lot of weight to it because of the, the metal and then the, the silver plating. So, uh, yeah, this is really nice. It'll be hanging on my tree every year now. So, uh, flipping crazy. If you haven't checked them out, her out. Flipping crazy. That's her logo right there. Go check her out. She's on like two, three, maybe even four times a week because she'll show you when she goes thrifting. She'll show you what she found. She'll do. Uh, she does dollar jewelry give uh, sales where she, you know, puts everything up for a dollar, a buck, yeah. one dollar. And if you're into that kind of stuff, there it is. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Boy, that's that's gorgeous. And it shows. The front of his head and the back of his head, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Which is so, nothing. <laughs> but this is heavy as can be. It's, yeah, uh, it's, it's gorgeous. Really heavy. So I'm going to have this will be on my tree every year. So thank you, uh, Lisa, for putting that out for sale. And thank you, Nora, for purchasing it and sending it to me as a gift. I really appreciate that. You didn't have to do that, but I'm glad you did because now I got it. Yep, now yeah. <laughs> but flipping crazy, folks. Go check her out. She's a good, good channel. Next item we got is going to be from a guy named Jason over at All Terrain um, Coffee. Well, we got this package, and this one was unexpected. I didn't, I wasn't asking for it. I didn't win anything. He just, out of the goodness of his heart, just, he just sent it. And yeah, it, he was giving away some coffee. Um, right. He donated coffee on one of our lives. 
to give away. Right, but he also sent us one. So here's what here's what he sent me. And an altering coffee and candy. And he knows I love I love coffee. So this is the backpackers coffee. It smells good. The red oh it smells off. Smells amazing. I can't wait to try it try it out. But um so Jason does a lot of coffee reviews. He does well, he does a lot of outdoor stuff, so he does, he he drinks a lot of coffee while he's doing the outdoor stuff. So I can understand why he has a ton of it. Anyway, Jason, I appreciate that. Yeah. I am a coffee lover. Lisa likes coffee when it's made into what like a cappuccino or something. Yeah. But, but other than that, I, I'll drink any kind of coffee. Really, I'm not I'm not a, yeah. a particular, but uh, I do have my favorites. So thank you for that, Jason. Next item is something that Lisa won, and you guys probably know what this is. It's the Bible. It's the Canner's <laughs> Bible. So this is a USDA canning Bible uh, for complete home cook, uh, canning. And it has everything you want everyone to know about canning, all mm -hmm. the regulations, all the limits, all the, you know, what you can do, what you can't do, Dins what you should do. And, yeah. yeah. So it's just loaded with USDA information. So Lisa's got uh, another one like this, but she won this one on Generational Homestead. So Wesley over Generational Homestead hosted a his first live yeah. a couple of weeks ago and Wesley you need to go out and do another live and another live and another live. It so, was his birthday remember? Yeah so I can win something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding Wes. No, no. but anyway Thank so. Thank you so much Wesley. Yeah he, she happened to be on his live and, and, and she was able to win that so that was great. So thank you Wesley for and happy birthday by the way. Belated. Belated. Again. Yes. All right this last item it's a short one tonight folks but it ain't yeah. gonna be no three hours long but this last item was a complete surprise because I was not expecting this and I didn't ask for it. But I mean, I always wanted one, but you know how it is. You don't want to ask for something whenever you, whenever you see something, but RB story over Ronnie and Brittany, they have a great channel. I've been touting them for months now. I love that channel. I fell in love with them ever since I saw her, uh, making, uh, there, she was doing loofahs on, on last year. One time I fell in love with, uh, her channel. Cause I, I went, wait a minute, you can you that's how you make loofahs? I didn't know that. But anyway, she's very knowledgeable in loofahs. I call her the, I call her the loofah queen because she knows everything about loofahs, and they grow hundreds of hundreds, if not thousands, of them every year. Well, they sent me a gift box or sent us, Lisa and I, a gift box, and it's loaded. It's got it's got well, this is her her business card. It's got stuff on both sides. It's got some soap. This is loofah soap, which is made by the loofah lady, and it's all probably goat milk because they have goats. From yeah, goat milk soap bar. So this is lavender, folks. This is great stuff. You can't beat uh, goat milk. I, I've had some from Jessica over at Gathered Together Homestead. I've had some from Boots and Bounty. I've had some from where else? I get some from oh uh, Grace, uh, Glenda, Glenda from Grace and Grace, Grace and Fire. The the soaps are amazing, guys. They're way better than store bought. These are way, way better than store-bought uh, soap bars. They're all natural. They're all natural, and they feel so good whenever you're using it on your, on your, on your rag and stuff. Oh, and this is cedar wood. This smells good. She has two of them. This is really good. Lavender, eh, okay, it's good. Smell it, but I like this, the sandal. Yeah, she gives two loofahs. Okay, so these are, these are good for, you know, using in the shower. They're used for, good for scrubbing. You could probably use them for cleaning, too, like cleaning the sink or cleaning the walls. Of your shower, well, I mean they're real. They're they're real abrasive. Bad, I mean, but... once they get wet, they get softer, right? So you got two. It's like a. It's like a. What do you call those? Uh, it's a, it's a loofah sponge, or, yeah. like a loofah sponge. But they grow these, and they're ma handmade by uh, Brittany and her daughter and her son. Uh, so they. they uh, oh, and this is salt. Some kind of salt. Rosemary mint bath salt. So you, I guess you put these in the in the bath, make some bubbles mm -hmm. or something out of it. No, not bubbles. I mean, but it it uh, is wow. in the water. It smells, it smells good. So it uh, it's a rosemary. It has a mint. It has a yeah. rosemary and mint smell. It's got peppermint essential oil. Hey, I could throw that in my my my, my bubble bath when I bubble bath my feet. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> That's a good idea. I need. When, when you when you toenails. soak your feet, we soak our feet. We, we put a little bit of this in there. And my feet will smell like roses, or at least like rosemary. <laughs> wow. Okay. And then these are are they two different things? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a all natural lip balm. 
So if she's making this, this is with sweet almond oil, shea butter, beeswax, coconut oil, mica essential oils, all made handmade by Lufa Lady. Look at this. That's love in a tube right there. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right, and this one here is the Lufa Lady Relax Roller. Essential oil perfume roll. Oh, it's perfume. Roller. Okay. But keep reading. Roll onto the inside of your wrist when Wait. you need when you need to relax. Holy yeah, so moly! It's not, not really perfume, perfume where you'd wear well, out. I, I better not put it on right now because I'll just fall right dead asleep. <laughs> I can look. There's a roller ball. Check it out. I can't smell it, but maybe yeah. I can't smell it, but it might be because I can't smell. <laughs> Or hadn't been rolled on, that's why. With notes of lavender, grapefruit, cedar, and patchouli eos. Brittany, you did an awesome job. These are amazing oh, yeah. gifts. I mean, wow. Right. Just the soap alone. I mean, now just... smell it. Oh, yeah, I can smell it now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just a, just a uh, cedar wood, cedar wood uh, handcrafted soap. That alone right there, that would that made my day right there. Because I love goat milk soap and folks if you're using a regular soap like crest or is it crest no coast dove. coast dove all that kind of stuff from the store read the package read the package here's another thing if it needs a, a label like one of them contents that has all the ingredients and stuff if it needs a label you probably shouldn't be using it anyway <laughs> so this is all natural you can't get you can't yeah. go wrong with that with this natural stuff uh made in china what <laughs> no i'm just playing <laughs> no this is from california this is visalia california i knew some people lived in visalia i was born in los angeles i was born in east l.a before the movie came out i was i was born in east l.a my parents moved to texas when i was one so i don't know nothing but texas so that's all i am pure texan even though i was born they pulled me out and slapped me on the behind in Las, Los Angeles, but I hightailed it back to Texas as soon as I could. <laughs> anyway, so thank you, Ro Ronnie and Brittany. Brittany yes. uh, and I'm so glad that you got old Tractar going again. Or not Tractar, uh, the uh, golf cart going again. As, I, was, I know you was hurting every time you had to go out and work and they didn't, have the, didn't have the golf cart. So the golf cart's working again. Thank God for that. And old Tractar's not having to do all the work. <laughs> so anyway... Y'all, I appreciate y'all, and thank you so much. Yes. Go watch Ron, Ronnie and Brittany. Uh, it's RB Story. That's their channel, RB Story. They have a great story to tell. And uh, she's branching out. She's got a web page. She's got Etsy. She's got all that stuff, right? Because she's doing the Lufa Lady business, right? Outside of the YouTube. So, right. so yeah. if it looks like she's not focusing much on YouTube, well, it's because she's got, you know, five or six other irons in the fire. So she's a busy lady. So go check them out. Anyway, so thank you very much, everybody, for all the gifts and everything that was sent to us. I really appreciate it. Lisa appreciates it. We we don't know what to uh, say uh, because this community is just outstanding. Yeah. We awesome. just we have a, we have a great time visiting and, and doing things with uh, all the people that we meet on YouTube. So anyway, appreciate you guys. Love you, and we'll see you on the next mail call. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Talk to y'all later. Bye.